this introduction to hacking few important issues. My name is Amitri Adhikari of class 4, Bandhasko School Park Circus. There is no doubt that we are living in a digital world. Now we are too much internet dependent. Sometimes addicted. And most of the time helpless. Through internet has many disadvantages, it also helps us in many ways. Internet helps us in getting ideas for school projects. The use of internet is very easy while we use smartphones. There are many apps installed in our mobile, example Paytm, Flipkart, Facebook, or WhatsApp, Opel, etc. We can order things online using Flipkart, Amazon, Snapdeal. We can pay online using credit card, debit card, or by using apps like Paytm or Veeam. With a smartphone, nobody is lost today. Google Maps help us in finding directions. Taxi infusion is a problem in Kolkata. But now we can book cabs using the apps on our bed. The postcards are replaced by social media like YouTube, Twitter, Gmail, etc. By using Gmail, now we can send emails. Every point has two faces. With the advancement of mobile and internet technology, few terms such as hacking or skimming are quite common today. This is the pictorial description of hacking. Here someone is trying to break the password. Here someone is trying to steal money with viruses. The question that comes in our mind is who is called a hacker? A person doing something illegal with a computer or smartphone belonging to someone else without asking a permission of the owner is called the hacker. There are three types of hackers, white hat hackers, black hat hackers, grey hat hackers. Let us discuss about white hat hackers. White hat hackers or ethical hackers are the people who test existing internet infrastructures to research loopholes in the system. They create algorithms to perform multiple methodologies to break into systems only to strengthen them. Let us discuss about black hat hacker. Black hat hackers are responsible for all that is wrong with hacking. These guys break into the systems purely with negative intentions. Grey hat hacker. A grey hat hacker usually has mixed intentions. As the color code implies, this hacker type does not have the good intentions of a white hat hacker, nor does he have the ill intentions of a black hat hacker. A grey hat would break into the systems but never for his own benefit. Famous grey hat hackers have exploited systems only to make the information public and to bring to limelight vast databases of information that contains wrongdoings. Few precautions by using internet. We should avoid unsecured public Wi-Fi. Hackers often target important locations such as bank accounts via public Wi-Fi that can often be unsecured due to relaxed safety standards or even none at all. We should be careful of what we install. We should not leave online services auto-login. It's a very convenient feature and introduced simply needs to open your browser to gain access to all your accounts. We should not leave suspicious links in email or text. Be smart about your passwords. We need to choose a password containing alphabets, uppercase and lowercase. Numbers and special symbols, we should take. We should not share the PIN or passwords with others. 
Thanks, now for ad swapping. So it is our responsibility to use internet safely. Thank you. 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 Thank you.